This is Adam Rosh from Roshcast, and I want to welcome you to another episode of The Reveal, where I will take you inside the mind of a test taker to deconstruct and connect the dots of a board style question so you can become a better student, transform how you learn, and excel not only on high stakes exams, but also in your general medical knowledge. So let's get started. All right, we have a short question here. Which of the following? is one of the most helpful signs to rule out testicular torsion. So let's take a look at this. It wants to know a sign to rule out testicular torsion. Let's go through these answer choices and see if we could come up with the correct answer. Answer choice A, presence of a bell clapper deformity. A bell clapper uh, deformity is not necessarily something we're going to see that well on clinical exam. But ultimately, it's going to result in a horizontal lie of the testicle. And so even in the presence of a bell clapper deformity, that's a risk factor for torsion, but it certainly doesn't buy it. I mean, it certainly isn't ruling out testicular torsion. So I am going to cross off that answer choice. Let's go to answer choice B, presence of prensine relief of scrotal pain upon elevation of the scrotum. So prensine, that is more uh, closely associated with epididymitis. The theory is if you lift the testicle that is affected, that has the epididymis attached to it, the instead of having gravity pull down on the testicle, straining the epididymis, elevation of it will relieve some of the swelling and pain. However, this is not consistent at all with testicular torsion. It can be used in epididymitis, but again, not that sensitive and and, uh, specific either. So we are going to cross off answer choice B. Now let's go to vertical lie of the testicle. Answer choice D. And the vertical lie is a normal lie of the testicle. And even if you have a normal lie of the testicle, you certainly can still have testicular torsion. So the answer choice D is incorrect, which leaves us with C, presence of the cremasteric reflex. And now the cremasteric reflex is it's a superficial reflex and It's elicited by just some light stroking of the superior and medial or essentially the inner thigh in a male, of course, or in a man, of course. And the normal response is immediate contraction of the cremaster muscle that pulls up the the testes about half half a centimeter uh, on the side that stroke. The presence of the reflex appears to be pretty much a useful sign to rule out testicular torsion. So if the, if there is a cremasteric reflex, it is unlikely that there is testicular torsion. However, and and I want to make this clear that you can still have testicular torsion in the presence of a cremasteric reflex in a true clinical setting. So let's try this answer choice C. And sure enough, that is correct. The presence of a cremasteric reflex is a helpful sign to rule out testicular torsion. Hey everyone, before you go, if you're interested in your own QBank, whether you are an MD or DO, a PA or an MP, simply go to roshreview.com and sign up for a free trial. See if Rush Review's content is right for you. Keep learning, keep working hard, and always have a sense of mission about your work. Now is your time. This is Dr. Adam Rush signing off.